Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Hazel and she is going to talk to us about her dance journey and dancing with UNLV. So Hazel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, well, I am uh, majoring in chemistry at UNLV and I've been on the dance team for four years and I am looking to become a psychiatrist or also just work in research with labs. Uh, I was born in Las Vegas and I went to high school in Springfield, Missouri. I love it. I love it. And talk to us about, you know, how you got started in dance. So where did you start? How did you start and how did it get you to where you are now? Okay, so I actually have an older sister who is always just super active, and my mom put us in gymnastics, so I just loved dance, gymnastics, all of it was just for fun, and when I was in high school, uh, we had a palm team, and I was just always super interesting because I've been a competitive dancer for so long, so I dipped into that, and I just, I just, when my senior year came around, I said, well, I think I would maybe want to move this further. Uh, and try out for some teams and just see what happens. So I've just really kind of rode with, uh, gone along with how everything just unfolded. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Uh, And you said you got started in high school, you know, so whenever you were going into college, whenever you were looking at teams, you know, how did you decide on UNLV? What was it about that team that made you say, you know what, that's, I think, where I want to go? So I originally was looking at uh, University of Missouri because I I went to high school, Missouri, everybody kind of just goes to Mizzou, does uh, all of that. So I had a big interest in going there. My sister also went there and something, just something about UNLV and how their team was just so diverse and so different and just honestly, just so cool. And always just with style, music performance, I was like, just so intrigued and I just wanted to be as good as them. I'm like, oh my goodness, they are just the coolest thing to me ever. So um, I just, yeah, I just thought if I try out, you know, it's meant to be and that journey and that, that door needs to be open for me. And if not, then maybe Missouri is where I'm supposed to be for this period of my life as well. So I love it. I love it. You are way more relaxed than I am. I would be like, (laughs) it's like the only one. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm just married. married (laughs) Well, I definitely am summarizing this after the fact. (laughs) So fair, fair. <laughs> yes. Oh my um, but talk to us about how you prepared for tryouts. You know, uh, what, what things did you focus on? Um, what, what, did, what did you do? Did you go to clinics? Did you work in the studio? Kind of walk us through that. So my, I'm so lucky to have had such an amazing dance coach in Missouri, uh, Ann Bueller. She would set up so many different audition styles for us, uh, on the weekends, you know, work with a lot of awesome people. And she was constantly just throwing more choreography at us. I mean, I was always just like learning how to retain and uh, just kind of perform right away. And uh, after that, I just, like you said, I went to so many dance clinics, uh, different audition formats, like just constantly just doing, 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 and just like showing my face at all these things and showing people that I really wanted to do something with their teams and organizations. I love it. I love it. And talk to us about the most difficult part about being a collegiate dancer. Okay. Um, there's a couple things that are pretty tough, obviously, but it's also awesome. Um, I would say some of the tough, uh, parts of it would be kind of outside factors and opinions. Mm -hmm. Um, because you know, whether it's other teams or, uh, just people who kind of see the final products of everything, they always have different opinions and it can kind of make you, you know, question what you're doing or how you're doing things. So yeah, I would say that's the hardest thing, but it's also like taught me how to kind of when to listen and when to not, and, you know, not let it uh, affect how I want to portray myself in that. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. And then on the flip side, you know, what is your favorite part about being a collegiate dancer? See, that could also be my favorite part. The fact that so (laughs) many people are like always so, uh, you know, engaged and wanting to, you know, it's, it's almost like the the attention of it, like how everybody sees like those final things and is like, wow, that's super cool. That's obviously super, it feels really good. And I take a lot of pride in like being able to wear UNLV's name and just kind of show people what we've been working on for so long, because it kind of speaks for itself, how much work goes into it as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think just being a part of it. I love how you talk about how that's your favorite and your least favorite, because I think that that's so valid because, you know, they're giving their <laughs> opinions because they care, they're invested, yes. you know? So even though it's annoying, 
it's still like, thank you for paying attention. That's so kind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, so talk about your backstage ritual. You got, you know, you guys just finished um, national season. You guys killed it. So what does na- uh, what does backstage look like for your team, but also for you as an individual? Okay, so I mean, everybody's always so nervous, but so excited. Like it's like a thrill ride. Um, we get, uh, I think it's either 10 or 12 minutes, something short on a practice mat in full costume right before we go out. So it's like our coaches, uh, other teammates, everybody's just, I mean, it's full blown screaming. Like everybody is so like just full out there and it's all, but you also have to like learn how to control that adrenaline. So um, at the same time, it's super exciting, but you're just trying to keep calm, trying to keep calm because there's other teams, music playing other, just, it's so much going on. And so uh, for me, I think I just try to keep, you know, my sweat contained with <laughs> towel and water, like all these things just have to be just like constant. And then I, it's just being focused and being present. Mm-hmm. And then when we, whenever we uh, finish that, we go back and we all talk as a team. Our coaches kind of tell us, you guys have been doing this, like, do not worry, get out there and like show them what we've been doing. And uh, yeah, it's almost like peaceful. Everybody gets very emotional. I swear I cry every single time before I go out there. <laughs> Because, you know, there's seniors and other people. I am also a senior now, so it was kind of a different perspective. But it's just emotional to know, like, we're just going to go do it once, you know? Yeah. I know. I feel like that's something that people don't really realize about dance. And I was talking to my boyfriend about it. And I was like, you know, like, it has to be perfect because you get one time. And if, like, you mess up that one time, like, too bad, so sad. Like, that was the only time. And he was like, oh, I never thought about it like that. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, that's just how it is like it's it's the same like what but um (laughs) yeah that's so true I love that yeah and then you know talking about you know how you get to the point where you're able to just do it effortlessly how do you guys you know what is a normal uh typical UDA nationals practice what does that look like for you guys um it's it's a very long day it takes a lot of sleep and a lot of preparation um I would say, you know, we get up, I have like full breakfast, I have my knee pads, I have this, I have all these things uh, just to work with throughout the day. And then when we get there, we usually do like a, like a virtue, there's like a word of the week, we like, like, for example, like respect or pride or trust, we'll like, do like a super fun team, like, thing to just get us all kind of checked in. And then uh, we'll either run or just do abs or kind of like a light workout and then we'll stretch for 30 minutes and then that's you know that feels like a long time of just preparing 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 and then it's time to just full-blown uh we you know work routine by routine and I mean we are just cleaning it with a toothbrush I mean we are trying a hundred options like it's more mental if anything you know in the beginning and that goes on for Usually it's like an eight hour day uh, and we go, we do that every single day of uh, December leading into uh, UDA. So the second everybody's finished with their finals, it's like, okay, mindset switch. This is all of our focus, you know, like nobody works that month. I mean, some people if need be, but it's like full focus. And uh, we also have clean notebooks. So we have a partner set up and we'll uh, give them, I always put mine on like a little sticky note so they can just put it in their notebook. And so it's just so much like uh, self-reflecting and adjusting and just, yeah, getting a lot stronger. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay, so wait, explain the clean notebooks. Like you guys okay. like, right? That's so cute. I love that. It's like yes. journaling. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we have a partner, our coaches assign it. So it'll usually be somebody uh, newer to the team and somebody older, just kind of paired up that are in the routine. Um, and so every single night, so every day we film at the end of whatever we're working on. So we just did hip hop forever. We're going to film with like just counting it. And then with music a couple times, cause we'll do it full out a number of times. Uh, we'll record each, uh, each style. And then we post it all on our team YouTube. So we all have access to watch the same videos and we have to get 10 cleans for ourselves per routine. So I'll be like, oh, my arm was messed up on this, 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 and this. So that's for me to look at for the next day. And then I'll do five for my partner. So I can say, you know, you weren't in your spacing was wrong here or you did the wrong head here. Like, it's just kind of like calling them out uh, so they can make those adjustments uh, for the betterment of the team and we'll give them the next day. Yeah. 
That's so cute. I love that. Yeah. It's good it's to like, bonding too. Like that's it's sweet. such an amazing environment. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, final question. Okay. If you have one piece of advice to a girl who is auditioning for collegiate teams this upcoming year, what would it be? Man, that, I feel like that is such an easy one, honestly, because it's like so simple to just say, like to completely be yourself and not um not have expectations for your future uh when those things are kind of out of your control. Uh, you know, and I thought that a whole different path was meant for me. And then right at the last second, like this is where I am I am meant to be. So I would say going into tryouts for any team, uh, I guess don't expect that to be your correct fit. It could take a couple more tryouts. Like don't let yourself get beat up if your first idea was not the correct one. That is definitely my biggest uh, advice for them. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Hazel, for coming on and um, giving us advice and telling us about your background and, um, and all the things. Well, thank you so much for your time. And thank you for having me. Of course, of course. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.